Hello everyone, Brett Jenny with Simply Vegas. We are here to complete the home tour at the new home community by Pulte, Cadora. They have four floor, uh, four floor plans, say that three times, four floor plans and three models. So we covered those two and now we're getting to the last, which is probably their most popular floor plan in Las Vegas. They have modeled all three of these, especially this one in other communities. This is the Palo Verde, which is also another high school in Las Vegas in Summerlin, but. All right, so the Palo Verde is a three story starting at 611,000. Look at that monstrosity. 3,071 plus square feet four to five beds, paver drive walk, uh, I tell you, paver driveways included. Now, if I can just get my words to come properly out of my mouth, we'll be all good. So let's take a look upstairs and see what's going on. Eight foot doors right off the bat. Like, right? Paul Verde never disappoints. Nice and wide and open as soon as you walk in. Opened up there as well. So as soon as we get downstairs, uh, they'll probably have tile that will come with standard. They have, I mean, they'll probably have carpet that will come with the standard, but they have tile for the upgrade. Just keep that in mind. I just like to get right to the backyards because they're not really big here. Lot premiums anywhere between 18 to 22,000. Covered patio. Oh, it's a backyard. It is what it is. It's a big house though, and the floor plan is pretty awesome. Bedroom off to your left. Good size. Very good size. Full bath, toilet, dual undermounted sinks, and your shower, which they have upgraded. You need to lift that some. And here's your closet. So downstairs bedroom. Pretty sweet, right? Closet. That's the garage. It's locked, so I can't get in there even if I tried. All right, let's head upstairs to the second floor. Obviously, this is your living room. They transition from the carpet into the tile. You can have tile throughout if you want. Or carpet up to here. I'm not sure how much the carpet will cover for the standard price out of there, but they definitely will have tile in the wet areas, including the kitchen. Huge island. Whirlpool appliances. So the uppers for the cabinets are upgrades. Keep that in mind. So everything at the very top up there, that's all upgraded. And most of the time I'll have to check specifically with the sales agent, but most of the time everything from here on over is an upgrade as well. So normally the cabinets would stop basically right at that window. But you can get this option if you'd like, without a doubt. Huge house. And then you have the deck off back, right off your kitchen. And this is nice and quiet. Crossings Church. So we have homes there. 
and I believe homes behind there. So only two or three sets of homes, but it's still gonna be like a backside street, completely quiet. The deck goes alongside the whole length of the back. Okay. I don't think I showed the pantry yet. Voila, there's your pantry. So they'll have a better microwave put in there. <laughs> Get us in there. All right. So they have the laundry on the second floor here. Remember on the other one, they had it uh, on the bottom floor, which is kind of weird because then you got to carry it all the way up to the bedrooms, including the one on the third floor. Laundry sink, cabinets, half bath, toilet sink for the hallway. And this is a nice little nook over here. Deck off of the front of the house as well. This one's gonna be a lot, a lot noisier. All Buffalo. So let's get upstairs to the bedrooms. Wrap it up. So immediately to your left, you have bedroom, standard, 10 by 10. hallway bath again the wet areas will have tile dual undermounted sinks shower tub combo toilet end of the hallway closet bedroom and your closet bedroom so all three side bedrooms should be basically about the same size so back all right well let's get to the end and get to the owner suite which is on this side That again is Buffalo and Windmill, the cross streets. Decent size. Here's the bath. So they did up the shower for an upgrade. Toilet and your walk in. So that's all she wrote. No rooftop deck, that's fine. But um, like I said, this community just opened about a week and a half ago. If you have any interest, let me know. I can meet you here or I can find out what I can about incentives ahead of time and then get back to you. If you like what I have to say, then we can meet. That's fine too. Either way, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe when you get a chance. Everyone, enjoy your day. Thanks, bye. Hi, I'm a Realtor.